Hello, crow. Hello. This time on Crash Test Dummy TV. <laughs> Alright, you've just gotten your bike, or you're checking it out beforehand, you would have known this already about some of the basics that, can, that are going to need doing uh, for you to either get it on the road, or roadworthy, or sell it, or do it up, or whatever. Regardless of the, which one you are doing, this is the stage where you're going to have your notepad and pen. Now already, I know we've got a left hand rear indicator, so what I will do is change it for 2 because I don't want to get a genuine BMW so what I will do is times 2 generic question mark and price don't know uh, what else screen I'm going to price the screen what else do we need? Definitely the clutch. Sprag clutch. Uh, new, I think it's going to be about 350, but I'll have to reprice that. Uh, there's a excellent write-up on one of these. Excellent write-up. Hello, Crow. Yeah, it's an excellent write-up on one of these in regards to doing the Sprague clutch. I'll put a link up to it. Um, it's a mechanic for the Barbados Police Department. <laughs> they use the F650s, or used to. Uh, and he had done so many of them that he basically wrote down a point one to point finished, you know, dotted, fully explained, etc, etc. So uh, I'll certainly be looking at his for my own research, but I'll put a link up as well for your research too. Uh, what else do we have to do? Now what I might do is paint the plastics. Some of them are faded to a point, and other bits like this I want to make black again. I gave it a good scrub with the uh, wash, but uh, it didn't make black. So with my wonderful bumper black, which comes up this, that's already done in bumper black so it comes up all right both of those obviously irons out any wrinkles too oh has chipped off oh well it does chip all right yeah but i might uh give them just a light coat i'll um yet to investigate that um what else needs doing We've got little chips and scratches here or there, so I'm going to have a look at those as far as uh, am I going to respray the whole lot or am I going to restore what's there. I can certainly see a difference between the two panels in the red, so that might have been repainted at one stage anyway. Uh, what else? I've got a uh, tank bag for it. Uh, sorry, a, uh, a bit rear bag for it already. So that uh, I'll have to suss out. Hello bird. Um, 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 I'll have to change these for my stickers, my proper stickers. Chain. It's got surface rust. I'll certainly have to look at that and give it a really good scrub. More so to get rid of that surface rust. A couple of bolts here. I might actually take this panel off. Got a little bit of rust on there, doesn't look good, so I'll take it off, make it look pretty. Uh, exhaust is all right, I think it's coated. Yeah, I think it's coated, so I won't scrub into that too much. Um, pedals I might leave because if I do paint those, that'll wear down in no time. Brackets here, I might repaint those. Uh, fortunately, it's got brand new tyres on it. I've yet to check the brake pads. Front and rear? Question mark. What else? Yeah, certainly a few scratches over here. Past owner did drop it, and uh, that's why he decided he was going to get a new bike. He also had the problems with the Sprague clutch, 
and he called me while well, I was talking to him about it. I think I've mentioned this story. He was going to trade it in. I mentioned to him, let me know what the trading price is and I'll buy it off him. And one day I get a phone call, you know, six, 12 months later saying, do I still want the bike? Yes, I do. Go pick it up from my brother's. It's been sitting there for 12 months. He wants it gone. I said, how much? He said, no, nah, don't worry about it. I said, how much? He said, no, nah, don't worry about it. So I gave him a lawnmower because he said he's broken down. He's broke down recently. So he got a new lawnmower. I got a motorbike. Excellent. Cool. All right, well, I've got my list. What I'm going to do is pull all the plastics off, expose everything underneath, and just uh, have a look what's under. And there's probably going to be more added to the list in the process. Cool. So that is stage two, because we've washed it. Had a good look at it while we're washing it. When you're getting in everywhere, you're seeing where all these little bits that you might pick up along the way. We've shamed it. Now we've uh, sat down with a notepad, done the preliminary list. Now we're going to pull it in the garage, pull the plastics off, and have a look underneath. Airbox, air filter, yada yada yada, fuel filter, you know, all those things will have to be changed. Groovy. So this is stage two. Next will be stage three. Excellent. Alright, I just spent ages getting this seat off. I think the mechanism itself isn't working so uh, in the lock, so I had to get in there. Now, if you can't get into a BMW seat, what I did was, this. I had a hammer, well, just because of the thickness of the handle, I had it up under here, holding that seat up. Um, now, I'm going to have to touch up this little bit here because it's been done before, that's what gave me the idea. I had to lever this up a little just to get enough space so I could see in there to see this bit here, right at the end of the screwdriver. Uh, and then I worked out, I'll take this off just so it's easier to see, I worked out that this mechanism here which was full of bloody, I don't know why someone's done it, but they've put uh, tin foil in there. Anyway, full of tin foil, get out of the way. I was able to get the screwdriver and hit the mechanism in, in enough to pop for the seat to pop up. So if you can't get into your seat, you're gonna have to come up from the back. Basically exactly that up through the back, push on your little, the little mechanism there, and that'll release the seat. Cool, just a little hot tip, groovy.